Hello, girly girl. <laughs> and come out. Come on, come on. Good job. <laughs> Puppies are cute. They have so much energy. I have to put her in a pen because I'm gonna tell you a little story. Let me show you what my studio looks like now. This is my new studio. This is my dining room. The house is a complete mess. Ooh. She keeps biting his ears. Lennox! Do, do, do. He's not, by the way, he's not being aggressive with her. He's just telling her, you're annoying. What I was saying was that I have to put her in a playpen like this for her own safety because yesterday I was trying to do a couple things while looking at her every 20 seconds, but she still managed to rip out staples from under a couch. And I found her 20 seconds later lying down with that staple this big beside her and I cried because I thought what if she swallowed it what if she swallowed one we looked it looks fine but it really confirmed to me that if I can't be plain with her I have to put her in a playpen with some toys and she doesn't like it she cries a little bit but it's for her own safety oh Puppies are difficult. They're cute, they're fun. I love her so much. We love her so much and we're happy we have her. We're just really tired right now. And like I was saying, the house is a big old mess. The floors are dirty. There's things, toys everywhere. But we're okay, we're in love. Lennox, by the way, is starting to get used to her a lot more. They play together a lot more and things are going well. That's my little puppy update. Today I wanted to try something a little bit different. There's only two paintings left in the True Colors series. And I wanted to explore like a different composition, different color placement for one of the paintings. To you it might not be that different, but to me it's a lot different. I painted this one in secret, not in secret, I mean like off camera it's a really large uh thir 40 inches by 30 inches like it's a big one for a scale it's a big one but you might recognize it it's the same painting as this one which is a lot smaller the reason being that i wanted to keep one for myself because i love this painting a lot and i wanted to keep one. I'm not sure which one of the two I'll keep. I might keep the small one and put up the big one for sale, but I just wanted one to be available and one to keep for myself. So as I was saying, a lot of the paintings have a full black background and a lot of black here. And for this painting, I want to keep the background as pops of color and the subject like the guitar and the jeans i don't know if you can tell the jeans uh to be black so it would be an inversion of this composition essentially i don't know if it's gonna look nice if it's gonna work out but it's gonna be a different one and i'm excited to see like what it like the feel of it once it's done gonna get started on it i don't know how long i'll have before missy moo gets too tired of being in her pen but we'll get started at least so here's missy moo i'm gonna get a couple more toys for her here she's right beside my working table and then we have beautiful mr lennox big brother extraordinaire Stay keeping close watch, are you the best boy? Oh yes you are. You're the best boy. 
<laughs> and you might have noticed that he has a lot less hair. I trimmed this fur very short because the summer heat is very, very hot right now here and it's so humid and he was getting like uncomfortable and there was knots forming. It was better altogether if I cut it short. He looks so much more comfortable now and it's gonna grow back and it's gonna he's gonna be fully back to his teddy bear form in about one or two months. Okay, let's find. While the masking fluid is drying, maybe I could show you a couple of things I worked on off camera. Um, whoa! I reworked this painting. Initially, I had kept it very minimal, but I added a few. Oh, Lake, what's going on, baby? We're gonna go play very soon. So initially I had left most of the background all black, but I added a few more pops of color. So this here, I've also added a few pops over here, which wasn't there. And I added a dot of red to this paint dribble. All the puppies are demanding my attention. I think they're hungry. You have to wait maybe five minutes. Five minutes and we go eat. Yeah, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna leave this white or, but I like the little pop of red. So this one is finished. And because it's a painting about painting, I titled this one True Colors. So it's the title of the series. Here you go. Also, I got this. It's a mister but not like a normal sprayer. It's a fine mister, which is really cool. I used to use this one, but when I would mist my palette, the paint would splash up a lot. But with this fine mist, it's so nice. Poppers are hungry. Come here, kill the pack. Kill the pack, kill the pack, kill the pack. Are you hungry in the nuts? Are you hungry in the nuts? Oh, if I was stronger, I would bring you. Wait, he's right here. I would bring you on my lap. Oh, my beautiful boy. I love you so much. You're my best boy. I'm gonna let the masking fluid fully dry. I'm gonna feed the little poppers. Play with them a bit. I'm gonna eat as well, because I'm super hungry. And then, gonna finish that one. I can't wait to see what it looks like with the pops of colors in the background. Look at the voice. Is that a cute voice or what? And look at that voice. That's a cute voice for sure. Oh. I love you. You're so cute. I love you. Let's go eat. Thank you. 
Some of these buttons, well most of them are so boring, it just turns out that the background is white or beige. Before I remove all of the masking fluid, I remove the masking fluid on this leg and it's giving all of these swirly lines, bold lines, and I haven't removed it on this leg yet, on the left leg, and I'm wondering, do I like these lines? Or do I prefer all covered up? I don't know. I like both a lot. This might be interesting. I'm not sure. At this 
this point I brought this to about 90% I would say like I mentioned before not sure about the lines and the jeans I don't know if I want to minimize them a lot or if I really love love it like this because it's kind of cool like this one thing is for sure is that I want to rework the ripped jeans the holes add in more black and more details there as far as these squiggly lines, I think they're kind of cool, but I also like the minimal look with a lot more black, so I have to let that simmer. Like many things, I have to let it simmer. I will add more pops of colors in the knobs of the guitar, in the pickup here as well. There's a lot of beige and a lot of blend. I'm gonna add a few pops there. One thing that I might add, I'm not sure yet, but I think I will, is add more line work in the shadows at the bottom here. I want to use the same line work that I used in the trumpet guy those bold squiggly lines i really like the effect of it the movement and the feeling of it so i might add that there also i made sure to paint the borders with all the pops of colors because i really wanted it to look finished because personally i don't frame my paintings i like them on frame i like that look so i wanted to give people the option to just put them on the wall if they wanted to all those borders are nicely done and completed and as far as the color placement and this new composition having all the pops of colors in the background i'm so surprised i thought it would look maybe i don't know unfinished or that the black elements wouldn't pop as much because the feel of the other way around with a lot of black in the background is so different than this this is a lot more like vibrant joyous maybe airy there's something more enveloping velvety and dramatic about the black background compared to this it gives two different effects but i really love both i really like this i kind of wish i had done more backgrounds with pops of colors this is the only one in the series that's like that but it makes it very special if it doesn't sell i'm not gonna be sad can I say that? I'm super surprised and excited about this color placement opening another way into exploration. I also like the more subtle peekaboos here of uh, the colors peeking through the guitar. It gives a vintage feel. I don't know if I'll keep all of them, but I'll keep some of them for sure. By the way, this painting is called Rock and Rose for my mom. My mom's name is Rose. Rock and Rose. It needs a little finessing, but it's 90 to 95% there. If you want to see the final, final result, I'm going to post it on Instagram so you can follow me there. If you want more inspiration, go watch this one next. I will see you in 